Hello, and welcome back to Novel Gaming. I'm Vicky. I'm Doug. And I'm Katie. And what did we do today, Doug? We wrote Craigslist-style missed connections for video games and video game characters. Um, and when we say missed connections, we kind of mean two things. One is just literally video games that we feel like we've missed, which is what some of these are about. But two, a specific section of Craigslist dedicated to strangers who either miss their shot at connecting or regret not connecting further. Mm-hmm. And like we usually do, one person's going to share what they wrote, and the other two are going to try to figure out what video game or if if we wanted to get specific about the character we're just going to be guessing so it'll be sort of our standard game show format here at novel gaming (laughs) and i think that's that's pretty much all the preface we need so uh katie do you want to kick us off with a missed connection so i didn't title mine which i is a fatal flaw it's always good to have a subject okay cool (laughs) that makes me feel better so i'm just gonna go into it You've got an old school style with a very lesbian flair. (laughs) Bright colors, bright ideas. You're all about it. You're going on a road trip and I'd like to come along. Oh, okay. So key phrase is old school lesbian road trip. That's what I picked up on. (laughs) Yeah. Anything I'm missing, Vicky? We went bright colors. Oh, bright colors. Yeah. Ooh. Do we feel like lesbian vibe means subtext? I think subtext, okay. not overt. Did I say vibe? I meant to say flair. With a very oh, lesbian flair. You flair. did say you did say flair. I just yeah. remembered cor- uh, incorrectly. Okay. Well, and I think flair is still to me seems like subtext. It's not um, subtext. I'm just gonna give it to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is this a game we would know? I think so. I feel like we've all missed a connection with it because I feel like we've definitely texted each other about it. Interesting. Interesting. And Vicky, road, you I feel maybe, like road trip has to be a big part of the game. Yeah, I'm going to stop talking. No, no, say what you're going to say to me. I feel like you're the one who <laughs> texted us about it. I think, uh, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Um, <laughs> it was like lesbian road trip or something like that. That would be wild. If that was if the that's name, what it was called. that'd be amazing. Is that not what it is? <laughs> no, that's what it is, but that's not the name. <laughs> okay, so the game concept is lesbian road trip. I don't... Is it cheating if I look back at our text and see what <laughs> it's called? You would never be able to scroll back that far. Think Mean oh, Girls. Wow. Mean Girls is a hint about the title. Vicky, can you tell me more about it? Because I'm like totally blank. Like, what do you uh, remember about this conversation? That, oh, yeah. No, no. I. It's called My Lesbian Road Trip. Uh, That's maybe, what it's called? I think maybe we texted about getting the car different loser? games. Yeah, get in the car loser. <laughs> I thought that's what it was called, and the, the subtitle was Get in the Car Loser. I didn't realize it was actually called Get in the Car Loser. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, let's a road trip. Katie, tell us about this game and why you feel like it's a misconnection game for you. Yeah, well, because it's a lesbian road trip (laughs) RPG game, and uh, I know I would totally love it. I just have not played it yet. I don't know much about it other than it's a lesbian road trip (laughs) game. Nice. What is it? Is is it on some... Well, I'm assuming it's on Switch or PlayStation if we all talked about playing it, It's on Steam. Uh, which oh, okay. is probably why I have not played it is because I don't do a lot of like uh, computer gaming. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think we should remedy this. I yeah. think we should all connect with this game. Yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Vicky, what's your misconnection? Cincinnati had some mis- recent misconnections, mm-hmm. uh, and they are goofy AF. Um, <sighs> so I took them. And pretty much word for word and like just subbed with some <gasps> of the game stuff. Oh, Interesting. So uh, do you want an easy one or the hard ones? <laughs> Let's start easy. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I saw you sitting in the corner of the bar with your ginger hair and green eyes. I was across the room and wanted to say hello, but we were all too busy. Maybe next time. Thanks. <gasps> God. Okay. So I feel like ginger hair and green eyes must be a big piece of it, right? Because yeah. that's like kind of the one thing you can very specifically latch on to. Right. What was it again, Vicky? Was there anything else? I'll reread it. And I do have a hint thing I can include if you want a hint section. Hmm. Um, But the base um, misconnection is, I saw you sitting in the corner of the bar with your ginger hair and green eyes. I was across the room and wanted to say hello, but we were all too busy. Maybe next time. Thanks. 
I'm struggling to think of a human character with ginger hair and green eyes. I'm just trying to think of like red haired or or ginger like haired characters. And the the first ones I'm coming up with, I feel like Vicky's played because like Horizons. Lead she might she might have hair, right? played it a little bit. Oh, uh-huh. oh, uh-huh. oh. Uh-huh. Did so it be a person. Can I say my yes? Yeah. Is it the cat from Stray? Yeah, it is the cat from Stray. <laughs> <laughs> so the bar is in the slums. That's it's as far as I've gotten. Okay. Um, so I know that was like, that was kind of tricky because like a bar is a bar, but it's called like, the bar. Um, I didn't even think of that being part of the clue. I know, oh, I'm that's sorry. good. That no, that's tricky. good. Um, I The hint clue was ginger hair and green eyes looking as cute as a kitten, but I took that out. <laughs> hand it to you good job katie oh that's good good job vicky thanks thanks mostly cincinnati thank you cincinnati all right so i approached it like video game personified so i am writing it as if i'm writing to a person and i even like created little scenarios yes whatever all right so this one's called last night at dave and busters oh (laughs) (laughs) first happy birthday i couldn't help but notice your party i was gonna break the ice by complimenting your hair but my time was limited and you were with so many people i kept missing the chance i couldn't get your attention at the whack-a-mole you were laughing too hard at your friend when she dropped the mallet and insisted on punching the moles and i nearly said something when you were at the prize wall or market you almost didn't have enough tickets for the prize you wanted but your friend with the prosthetic arm gave you his tell me the color of that wolf plush that you got so i know it's you oh doug i feel like you're too good at these where yeah and like these this is a real scenario that you had at dave and busters last night um <laughs> it's so, so vicky what's standing out to you from that um the wolf the prosthetic arm the mallet is the do you feel like the mallet's important oh, yeah. or That's just me. chaotic friends yeah, and then you said at the market, or like the ticket counter, or the market. So there's right, something so the, the market, market could be some sort of exchange thing. Yeah. Okay. I have a guess. <laughs> okay. I have a, a ill-informed guess. So if you have you a wanna... strong guess, so the hair thing, the arm yeah. thing, RPG, old school RPG. Oh. Uh, that there's like a also a, a character named Red in it who's kind of like a wolf. If I'm correct. Oh, go that, for it. Okay. Is it Final Fantasy 7? It is <gasps> Final Fantasy 7. <VII. laughs> oh! <laughs> I started it and I don't know any of that. <laughs> yeah, that's another one uh, that's another one I've never played but feel very confident I would enjoy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Cool. Oh, yeah. that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, <laughs> wait, okay, Cloud? Yeah. Because Cloud has hair that's like ice? Yes. So, Dave and Buster's, because Cloud Sword is called... Oh, a Buster uh, I think Sword. Is Buster Sword. Oh, um, Doug. Doug. And then he was, uh, he was, it was his party, uh, and I was going to break the ice, but my time was limited, because that has a mechanic called uh, Limit Breaker. Mm, okay. Uh, he's got distinctive hair. Uh, his friend was punching the moles. That's Tifa. His other friend had a prosthetic arm. That's Barrett. He has like a gun arm, I guess. Mm. And the the uh, wolf plush was red. Katie, you, you clocked that correctly. Shoot. And the wall or market. I think wall market is like a, yeah. a, a big place or a, a oh, notable a place in the market. game. It's called wall market. So it's Final Fantasy VII. Ooh, that nice. was good. That was really good. Thank good you. job, Katie. <laughs> good job, Doug. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you want to play more, you can check out our podcast episode linked in the description. Feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.